All right, and the next hole down is another side hole. It's Yokoshio, it's very popular. When we're making Yokoshio, it's very similar to Munigatami. We're coming under the man's head, but this time instead of going outside here, we're gonna come between the legs and control the hips down and in. So there's a feeling of pulling and coiling down towards your own shoulder here to control the, the line of his hips right here. You may get the belt, or you may get a piece of skirt here of the, the bottom of the gi or what have you. The belt is optimal because you're trying to encumber his ability to use this hip. If he's trying to move and you're basically holding this hip in the air, he has a hard time moving around this encumbered hip. And so it's a hip encumbrance that you're setting up on him, hunkering up with your shoulder right there. And as he tries to rotate around and move, yeah. And again, the pressure is trying to shoot right in to the lower part of these ribs. Watch out and be careful not to get too high on his body. Because as you get higher, you'll make it less, uh, less uh, punishing to him and you'll make your hold down less effective. So, leg action is very much similar to what we had going with, uh, with Munigatami as well. The inside knee is critical, uh, splaying out and laying flat, but when you lay flat, letting the knees stay down is very critical as well. If you're doing your action and you find yourself coming up high like this, you'll be very vulnerable to roll over and getting your legs entangled and knees slipping under and start working you. So, as we break down this basic element, if he wants to uh, extract himself, the, the great vulnerability of Yokoshio is this leg that's encircling his hip, uh, this, this arm that's inserted between his legs. First action he wants to make is reach up as high as he can, do a little crunch action with his abs, reach up as high as he can, and squeeze his knees together, lock them, and squeeze tight in the knees. This is gonna make a, uh, a large grip, and he's gripping as high up as he can because he wants to be gripping the, the, the surface of my upper arm. So let's watch that. We're in position, he goes as high as he can with a little crunch, and tight, tight grip. Now he's squeezing down very tight onto my shoulder, and into my bicep and tricep. From there, he stretches his legs down with his abs, and that jacks my whole process down. At the same time, he can support this action, driving my head with his forearm and, and shoulder. So we put this together, he reaches up, he squeezes tight, drives everything down. Now once he has this here, he's holding in place with this top arm, and he'll unhook the outside leg and come up and hook. Woo, right there. Now we have a potential for some kaku beginning or a triangle hold and we can go ahead and show that if you like. But at this point he could also stretch his this arm and shoulder over here are vulnerable and he can stretch this out and start making a potential arm bar go. That's right. Good. So let me do it on you a second. So we're in a Yokoshio position. The man's got us. Controlling our hip well. He's got our hitch locked up. And we're inconvenienced by this cradling type move. First thing, up in the air. Second thing, squeeze down tight. Third thing, drive the head and shoulder down. Fourth, we're gonna unhook the leg and set. Now from here, we can go ahead and make a triangle if we like. We can also just keep that hook down and roll into this elbow and make a potential arm bar go. You can have a straight arm bar or a nice coil arm bar here if you like. Uh, if you want to do the triangle action, that's cool as well. We make a little triangle on the man. The tendency is to want to squeeze in, but actually to set it on him, we're going to try to squeeze our knees together. He can tell you, it's a different thing. There's a temptation when we make triangles to try to go and, and just uh, do like, like pulling in this way. But when we pull in this way with our ab and our back muscles, it tends to uh, make the knees come apart. So what feels powerful in terms of delivering energy to his head to pull in, where we get very strong feeling, is not necessarily delivering the energy where we'd like. With a real triangle, we'd like to close this surface like a, uh, like a bear trap, slam it shut like that. So when you wanna do the triangle action, bam, here's what we're doing. We're closing the knee to the knee. 
and the surface inside there is compressed from this closing action here. Okay, so let's wash it one more time. Oh my goodness, bad news for me, Yokoshi Ogatami. Reach up, squeeze down for your hook, lock it in, squeeze the knees, and apply. Now we can also unhook that if we like. I'll get a little less pressure on him. I know it's tough on you. If we want to actually take it to a hold down and get out of this whole situation entirely, it's very good as well. I recommend reaching over the top and grasping your own lapel or your own gi here to secure this arm nice and snug. And once you have him under control in the upper body and his arm is, is encumbered, you can release this from your, from your grip again and use this bottom leg to drive. Roll him all the way over, reestablish your sankaku, and then do the arm bar from the top. All right. Very good. Thank you.